let's jump into passing touchdowns. Uh, Jill, I- I'm going to start with you here because I know this is your forte. Uh, what is the target number in this market uh, in terms of how many touchdowns you-, you usually are looking for a quarterback to get? Well, yeah, from an upside standpoint, I think it's I think the 40 is the magic number. I mean, you could look back even just a couple of years ago at Lamar Jackson, who led the league in passing touchdowns. And I feel like that was more of an aberration uh, than anything. Uh, but yeah, so to piggyback kind of what you guys have been talking about, I'm all in on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals this year from a passing touchdown standpoint. Um, 34 touchdowns last year. It was nine less than Brady, but he threw it 200 times less than Brady did. So uh, there's just a lot more room for improvement. Another year recovered from the knee surgery, and you could see kind of his mobility increasing as the season went on. Um, And also last year, like tops in the NFL in accuracy and yards per pass completion. And, you know, regardless of how we feel about the Vikings wide receiver trio, I do think the Bengals wide receiver trio is just a smidge better, but not (laughs) much. I feel like right now we're, we're splitting hairs if we were to try to debate that. But again, you touched on an upgraded offensive line is going to give him more time to throw in the pocket. Um, and also, you mentioned this as well, a below average pass defense uh, that could lead to more shootouts. I think that defense is a little overrated just going on that Super Bowl run. Uh, and then, of course, some of the teams that they've got to play. I mean, we've got Dallas right off the hop. You've got the Chiefs. you got the Bills, Tampa Bay on the schedule. They're all going to put up points on this defense leading to more potential uh, high scoring games, more touchdowns being thrown. And then also you were talking about why were they running the ball? And I think they, they might hear this because if you look at the way that he was playing last year, they were five and one in games where he threw three or more touchdowns, but we're five and six in games where he threw less than that. So two touchdowns or less. So I think that there's a winning strategy here of him throwing the ball. You've got Jamar chase, you've got T Higgins, you got Tyler Boyd. It's a very good receiver room. I think there's a lot of potential here for over 40 touchdowns, and I love it at 10 to 1. Yeah, I mean, I I like that as well. I think Joe Burrow, you know, throwing to T. Higgins, throwing to Jamar Chase. Uh, You still got Tyra Boyd. You know, he's kind of fell off in the second half of the year, but uh, there's just a lot of guys I think that can can catch some touchdown passes. Um, Is there anyone – Brandon, well, first of all, do you like Burrow as well? And uh, is there anyone you like in, in this market? Yeah, so I'm also looking for that kind of 40 touchdowns number. We usually have at least five guys at 37 or more in recent years. So if you can't even get to that number, then you're, you're pretty much out here. So I think Burrow, Burrow, Allen, Mahomes, and Brady, those are the four guys who are all top six odds. That I think, yeah, those are right. Those are the right top six odds. Again, I'm not going to play those guys usually just because especially with touchdowns, it's going to be so close. We're going to be down to like just, a, you know, a couple of scores here and there. And so it might be a spot where I'd come in later if it, you know, if, if Burrow starts out cold and then the number gets to like 1500, then now it might be a, a chance to jump in. But I'm looking for longer plays on most of these. I'll, I'll have a few more favorites later. But the guy that I like, Tom Brady is, I haven't projected at 43. The guy I have one spot below him is my top pick here. And it's back to the guy you mentioned, Ray Bon. It's Russell Wilson, 1,600 here. I have him projected for 42 touchdowns, so one off the lead, very much in play there. Now, I like Wilson better for touchdowns than yards, and here's the reason. I do worry a little bit. We don't really know what this offense will be. Nathaniel Hackett, we're not totally sure exactly, you know, what it's going to look like. But the Packers were usually pretty run balanced. Obviously, Russell Wilson's teams were very run heavy. So I was thinking, well, they can't possibly pass less. His attempts have to go up. I'm not so sure that that'll happen. The the Packers ran a lot. They also were always a very slow-paced team. What made Aaron Rodgers' numbers so good was the incredible efficiency. And that's where I think yardage may not be there with the attempts because you just have to have the volume, but touchdowns could be. So Aaron Rodgers, who has been a touchdown beast his entire career, before the last two years, I had a 6.0 touchdown percentage rate. So that's like touchdowns per, per attempt. Last two years, he jumped to 9.1, which is absurd, and 7.0 last year. By the way, 6.0 is awesome. 6.0 is like all-time great. That was already how good Aaron Rodgers was, and he still put up two of his best three years ever in the offense that I expect to happen here. Russell Wilson, already good touchdown thrower, but I think if you get that uptick there in efficiency – the other thing, too, is a really nice schedule to start out the year. So there's a chance that Denver could get off to a great start here. This might be one of those bets where I split my bet and I, I bet it twice, half and half, in case I want to cash out somewhere along the way if I'm not feeling it. 
Russell Wilson, my hesitancy here is that he tends to be a fast starter and then fades toward the back half of the year. We'll see what that, how that goes with a better team. But at plus 1,600, I think he is every bit in play with the other top guys here. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a great point about, you know, he's probably more likely in this market than the yardage market. Although you're getting a much better number in the yardage market uh, at 25 yeah. to 1. But And, and I, again, he leads the league in uh, a dot, so it's always possible. But it, like, this is right up his alley. He could throw, you know, like 43 touchdowns and like 10 interceptions and, uh, you know, just be ex- extremely efficient. So uh, I think Wilson's a, a sharp bet here. And uh, any, anyone else you like uh, for this one? Well, uh, Jill, did you also, did you have Wilson as one of your picks as well? Yeah, but my thing is, is the definition of what a long shot is. I think I was like, <laughs> look, I thought it was a long shot. And it's like, no, this is one of my best bets. So kudos to you for uh, <laughs> put, putting putting the, the cojones out there. Uh, obviously, like we saw 40 touchdowns in 2020, definitely a career year. I think my thing that I love about Wilson is the floor because he, over the last season, uh, six seasons, rather, uh, around 32 touchdowns per game. And again, in an offense that I don't want to call it broken, but just is not really a high end potential because of the propensity of how much they run. But then of course you're looking at his completion percentages and it's increasing year over year and two young hungry wide receivers playing arguably with the best offensive line he's probably had since the early Legion of boom days. Like it's going to give him more scramble opportunities because really the knock on the bet is Wilson going to continue to rush and try to get out of the pocket? Like you see what his per- completion percentages are when he rolls out of the pocket as opposed to throwing in the pocket. But I think having guys like Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon, it's going to keep, keep those defenses honest, especially with a lot of the running back injuries that they were going through over the last couple of seasons. So I think there's a potential for a huge season. And again, Brandon, not trying to knock your Vikings. I do prefer Russ over Kirk Cousins in this, in this market. Yeah, so Kirk Cousins is my other play here at plus 2,000. So he's at 6.2% touchdown the last three years. Again, six is a very good number already. But if you look at the guys that played through Kevin O'Connell offense, Matt Stafford jumped from 4.5% in his career touchdown rate to 68 last year. So big jump for him in efficiency. Jared Goff going out of that offense dropped from 4.4. You know, not, not great. That's why he's gone. But even further down to 3.8 last year. So if you figure Kirk's touchdown rate goes up some, I have him at 39. That's kind of right around the cutoff, the 40 that we're looking for. Again, I don't know that we have a monster ceiling, but Jefferson, Adam Thielen, both really big touchdown threats. Matt Stafford had 41 last year. So Cousins at 20 to 1 here, I think, is in play. Uh, Raybon, do you like Cousins better for a touchdown or a passing yardage? Which one do you think you'd be better in play here? I'd probably go with touchdowns just because I think touchdowns, you know, more it's 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 more kind of it's a higher variance outcome right so yeah. he's he's got the same odds for both at, at 20 to 1 but touchdowns like you mentioned the touchdown rates the league average is usually around four and a half but you'll see a guy jump to nine in a given year <laughs> whereas the league average in yards per attempt or or just yards per game let's say you know yeah. it might be 300 or at the top <laughs> but no one's go passing for 600 yards <laughs> right a game right. so uh, i think given the same odds this is a a spot where you want to take advantage of the variance. Now, if you're you're in a different market or you're just, you know, you're trying to find a median outcome, you might look at it differently. But in terms of this market, you're trying to have uh, an outlier. You're looking for an outlier. Touchdowns are more likely to give you an outlier result, much more likely. That's why we don't really bet um, passing yards during the season. At least I don't, you know, it's like, it's very kind of uh, low variance. It's not a lot of edge, even if you think a line is off by like seven yards, you know, it's, it's it's not a lot, but uh, touchdowns. Yeah. I think you go with the 20 to one for the touchdowns over the yard. 